Hello, my name is Neil Hamilton, and I am president and owner of Paint Out Loud, LLC. And what we're kind of currently involved in now, I think one division of my corporation is that I paint a lot of custom celebrity guitars for a lot of major rock stars in the world now. And that is linked to uh, raising money for a lot of various um, charities, you know, such as St. Jude's Children's Hospitals, Mary Cancer Society, Music Cares, uh, you know, the list goes on and on and on with that. So we've raised a ton of money right now for, like I said, children out there in need, people who want to get in the music world, people who want to get instruments in their hands, or and just basically just see art being used in a more, you know, a more creative fashion here. So right now that thing is working very beautiful for us, and I'm really digging it. So I mean, right now I've done some major players like Santana, Paul McCartney, Vince Gill, Dave Navarro, a Lil Wayne. We just did Ted, Ted, Ted Nugent's guitars, and we're working on Peter Frampton's right now. Oh, that's super. Mm -hmm. And you know, the, the, the weekend was about inspiring artists, but also about teaching them the business uh, of art as well. And you're a great example of that because you had your own company, you also worked for a major player in the music scene, mm -hmm. and I'd like you to tell a little bit who those were. But now you came to Atlanta and you found through Craigslist this wonderful career of a new type. Exactly, and that's really so funny because that could have been easily a fluke with Craigslist, you know, because I don't really get on there and do too much. Thing. You know, we're a little older, can't keep up with my kids, you know. But um, when I answered that Craigslist ask, that's what actually started this whole thing with the guitar companies now. I mean, I did not know where I was going to go with that, but that that really opened up a major door for us. And um, oh, what was the other question? Oh, God. Oh, that you already had your own business, and then you worked for another business, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. But now found a new career. There's always something new. Yes, yeah, always, and there's always a path. Though when I worked at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, that really opened up the doors because you know, I was always a big music lover, and to be able to be their cameraman and work very close with these musical artists, that was like a dream come true. And then from somewhere, something inside of me said, "How do I give back to that situation?" Because I love music so much that hey, I want to paint about music. I want to paint about the, the icons that I grew up with that excited me in music because music was very inspiring to me and still is. I don't paint without listening to music, and when I listen to music, Music, then I paint better. So if I'm listening to Prince, I'm gonna paint Prince, you know. And, and Ray Charles, I'm gonna paint Ray Charles. It adds an extra energy into the work I do. So I feel that I feel like I'm working hand in hand now with the right stuff that's gonna keep me going for many years now. Okay. And no matter where we live, we don't always appreciate the opportunities in our own city. But you recently moved to Atlanta. The opportunities here are endless. Aren't oh they? God, yes. I mean, coming down to Cleveland, I feel like I've done everything I could do there. You know, it's a little smaller city. I mean, I was blessed to be there. But moving down to Atlanta, the doors have really opened up. I mean, this is a major big city. I think it's a giant hub. Everybody comes through Atlanta. Okay, so the, the, the opportunities are endless to me. So I get out there and I meet so many beautiful people that so many beautiful ideas. And everybody's on the move here. Everybody wants to put something together and do something, you know, exciting. And I, I, I feel like I'm in the right place at the right time. Okay. What's mm -hmm. the most important thing for young artists to know about the business of art? What should they be looking at? Um, it takes a lot of dedication. Just to be in the business. Two things that I think are very important is not only do you develop your craft, and that's what we talked a lot, you know, today about really put the time in to develop your craft. Okay, so I mean, you got to really sacrifice and get it sharp, where you know that I'm ready to go out there. The other half of that is know the business side, know the worth of your work. Um, you do not want to sell yourself short and handle yourself professionally. You know, when people see that you handle yourself professionally, then they're going to treat you like a professional, and they're going to pay you like a professional. Hmm? Good enough? Super. All right, thanks, Rick. Very good, thanks. All right, here you go, sir.